Okay, um, Iran seizes Israeli-linked cargo ship as world braces for revenge attack. And Iranian forces seized an Israeli-linked cargo ship in the Strait of Hormuz on Saturday. The world braces for Tehran's feared retaliation for a deadly Israeli strike uh, on its consulate. So it's, a re it's the consulate attack that we covered for you guys last week. And there it is right there. And now the retaliations are going back and forth like a ping-pong machine. Or um, and and it's it's gonna get out of hand. Commandos from Iran Ir Iran's Parliamentary Revolution Guard dropped from a helicopter onto a MSC Ares, a container vessel associated with the Zodiac Maritime, run by Israeli billionaire Ayel Ofer. Ofer, and Iran said the vessel will be taken into Iranian territorial waters, though it has not explained the incident. So Joe Biden returned to Washington on a, sat on a Saturday afternoon to consult with the national security team a day after saying that he expects Iranian an attack against Israel sooner rather than later. So this is the Hillary Clinton wet dream that she's had. Hillary Clinton has had a wet dream for years to go to war with Iran. She won a war with Iran. She wants to go to war with Iran. She doesn't like Iran. Same thing with um, uh, same thing with Russia. She said it about Russia. And um, the reason why no one voted for her in the in her election there against Donald Trump was because she openly admitted that we're going to go to war with Iran, we're going to go to war with Russia, we're going to go to war with all these people. And a lot of people were like, we, we don't want to go to war with these people. We don't want to fight these people, right? So, so that's a big problem there. And uh, it's... Okay, um, Iran launches, launches swarm of kamikaze drones at Israel. Tehran has reportedly fired dozens of unmanned aerial vehicles in the apparent retaliation for an airstrike on its Damascus, Damascus consulate. Iran has reportedly launched an attack against Israel using dozens of drones in apparent retaliation for a recent missile strike that killed seven military officers at its consulate in Damascus. So it goes on to say, um, U.S. Joe Biden cut a short weekend visit to his Delaware Beach home, returning to the White House for consultations with his national security advisors due to the fears of an imminent Iranian attack against Israel. So this is it. This is the hot war that they've been gearing up for. And Wesley Clark, Israel can't trust the United States if Iran strikes because of how we're pursuing them. So let's see what Wesley Clark has to say here. Let's ask former NATO Supreme Allied Commander, General Wesley Clark. General, great to have you with us. Thank you. What do you, what do you think is going to happen? Because it seems that Iran doesn't want this to get out of hand. Nobody wants this to get out of hand, and yet these things tend to. Well, I, obviously, we picked up indications that Iran is making preparations to do something. Now, that's at the military level. There's a bluster at the political level. But does Iran really want a confrontation directly with Israel? Iran's moving toward uh, atomic or nuclear weapons capacity. Some people say they've already got a couple. Others say maybe another three or four months. If Iran strikes Israel, Israel is going to go right back at that nuclear capacity, everything they've identified. And uh, the, uh, the Ayatollah is going to lose everything that they've worked for. Besides, Iran's kind of a basket case internally. Uh, they're, they're taking away people's social security. There's high inflation. Some of the soldiers, uh, not the Revolutionary Guards, but ordinary soldiers are refusing to work because they're not getting paid. So uh, the, the mullahs are in, in no position to start a big war. On the other hand, um, Israel uh, would probably welcome a chance to go in and take out the Iranian nuclear facilities because they know that once that comes in uh it it's it's an entirely different game in the middle east the so there it is right there wesley clark updating us on his perspective on that and uh uh Kantas perth to london routes changed to avoid iranian airspace Qantas. that's Qantas. sorry guys Qantas perth to london so what they're doing is Qantas has been forced to redirect its nonstop route from Perth to London to avoid flying over parts of Iran, uh, parts of Iran in the Middle East due to safety concerns. So now they're rerouting planes to different areas or around certain airspaces to avoid specific areas of the world. And 
Hundreds of Israeli settlers attack Palestinian villages in occupied West Bank after missing Israeli boy found dead. And CNN is reporting this, fake news is reporting this. Hundreds of Israeli settlers surrounding Palestine, Palestinian villages and attacked residents across the occupied West Bank, eyewitness told CNN, after Israeli boy who had gone missing from a settlement was found dead. The body of Binyamham Achermeyer, 14, was found in the area of Maliki HaShalama, uh, with the Israeli military saying he was killed in a terrorist attack. It is unclear yet what was the cause of death, and the IDF is yet to provide evidence that this was a terrorist attack. CNN has reached out for clarity. So that's fake news reporting that. And report U.S. may intervene if Iran directly attacks Israel. So this is hot war on all fronts, and they're pushing hard in the Middle East for hot war to clean up the mess that they've, well, obviously the whole, they want to clean up the last five years, right? An American official has informed Al Jazeera that the Department of Defense might intervene militarily in the event of an Iranian attack on Israel. We do not rule out the launching of joint retaliatory strikes with Israel if it is attacked by Iran or its agents, said an American official. However, there was no elaboration on whether a joint Israel-United States response would involve offensive strikes against Iran or solely defensive measures such as the deployment of anti-air defenses. Then it goes, a strike against Israel imminent. Intelligence agency anticipate retaliatory attack very soon. U.S. intelligence suggests that the first retaliatory strike will be done with missiles targeting sites within Israel. It is uncertain whether these missiles will be launched by Iran or its proxies, uh, by the, but, but the attack is expected to be imminent. So they are moving forward. Chess pieces. Remember the 4D chess, 5D chess, 6D. We're on 23D chess right now. We've been talking about that 4D chess back 12 years ago on the channel where things are moving around. They're positioning certain things. And there's a lot of people in the comments saying the hot war is coming, folks. I don't want hot war. I don't want innocent people to die. Right? This is all BS. And I think my son has positioned itself in another... Son is powerful, man. Just blasting through here. Okay, and we got um, Israel in complete panic, waiting for Iran response to Syria attack leaders' aid. So, a top military advisor to the leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah uh, Sayyid Ali Kahaimi, Kahani says that Israel is co in complete panic as it awaits Iran's response to an Israeli terrorist strike against a diplomatic premises in Syria. So this is um, today's, uh, I just want to make sure it's not old. And hundreds of Israeli settlers attack Palestinian villages. We cover that. All right, that's done. And Iran begins missile drone strikes on Israel. We cover that already, but this one actually actually tells us how many drones are being used. Iran attacked Israel in retaliation to the strike on the embassy compound after days of threatening action. Israel says over 200 drones and missiles were intercepted. A military base suffered a slight damage. U.S. and U.K. helped intercept drones targeting Israel. And Iran's mission to the U.N. said the matter can be deemed co concluded. And Western leaders have condemned the attack, saying it risk further destab destabilization of the region so there's a picture of what the missile or, or or what it looks like drone strike missile stuff or what's happening with that so that's a an image of it there and our 100 man army has arrived here tonight on mike of the night thanks guys for being here tonight